When one of the transmission speed sensors on my 2000 Dodge Durango went out, it felt like I had some serious transmission problems. Turns out it wasn't. It was simply just a sensor that had gone bad. When I hooked my code reader up, I got these four codes. It felt worse than it was because the transmission went into a mode called limp mode. That's basically where it starts out in second gear and it won't go into overdrive. And when you put it in gear, it'll go in gear kind of hard. Luckily, the repair for this is relatively easy and relatively cheap compared to a transmission job. The two sensors for this cost me $60. 45RFE transmission has two speed sensors. One in the front is called the input speed sensor, and it's right here. The second sensor, known as the output speed sensor, is in the back, and it's right here. Replacing the sensor is really easy. The first thing you have to do is remove the connector. There's a button on the bottom of the connector. Push up on it while you're pulling, and it should come right off. Next, just remove this 8 millimeter bolt. With the bolt removed, you should be able to pull the sensor right out. Just like that. Install a new sensor. Then put the bolt in and reconnect the wire. With the input speed sensor replaced, now we'll replace the output speed sensor. Replace the bolt and reconnect the wire. That's all there is to it. Be sure to reset your engine error codes so that it takes it out of limp mode and you're good to go.